over the weekend, there was an update on many different platforms stating that SoarSwap launched the first decentralized exchange on Stellar SoarBond smart contract platform. Users can now, of course, provide liquidity, swap, and manage assets, of course, on SoarBond. This marks a significant milestone, as we know, for Stellar in basically enabling DeFi applications on, of course, its network. How so? Can we show some examples? Yes. Finally, SoarSwap.Finance has updated their particular X. Let's take you on over to there. So I said that we would follow this closely. Here's the particular update. And going on over here, you will see some things, and I'll play it here in a bit. I uh, won't have the music on because I don't want the copyright thing to, you know, cause problems with the channel. But um, even on April 29th, you saw this from SourceSwap. And I know it's a little bit more halfway towards the month now, but still kind of flew under the radar. So, like it says, basically, you know, my full screen it. Feel the SourceSwap.Finance swap experience. Would you like a visual? Yes, you would. Let's go ahead and blow this up. So, basically speaking... Let's go ahead and play this. It's only about 36 seconds, but here gives you an idea of how it all works. And, I mean, you know, kind of like what you see with Uniswap and so on, but instead on Stellar, right? And here's some examples of SourceSwap, XLM, URC, uh, what path are you selecting, connect the wallet. Very simple, right? This is no, you know trying to complete something that you know you're jumping through a bunch of hoops and so on not like that at all but you see how it all comes together and then that confirmation and you know it doesn't take too long to do it right through what source swap so that's good glad to see some of these particular updates and also want to get into some of the other things i want to share with you guys so getting more into it you will also see that you know people are requesting for velo i know they don't cover velo but um that's also something i guess that they might get going on here soon i want to share this as well this is uh straight from soar swap finance you talk about how audits are a key process to secure sorbon official and even stellar org d5 protocols they have a blog on their experience with was referred to this right here which is otter sec it's an audit platform that protects blockchain ideas and you know it's worth pointing out because one of something they posted this on may 9th securing source swap finance our journey with otter sec i decided to look more into this i'm gonna take you on over to this and basically speaking let me get to the top part so i'm not going to read this whole thing because it's a lot to get into but I like what's mentioned here about improving unbounded data storage in Sorabon. You know, you like some of this terminology. You know, as you guys know, I'm all about data storage, you know, Filecoin for crying out loud. I talk about, you know, jazz me all the time. But if you didn't know about um, OtterSec, like it says, they play a vital role in identifying three vulnerabilities and three general findings during an audit process. They mentioned specifically Sorbon, and they mentioned how, for example, that they can find unbounded data storage and basically like integrate it with Sorbon. It says, unlike other blockchains where data remains indefinitely, um, Sorbon handles data storage in a more efficient manner. They talk about this whole thing about this distinction that allows the creation of temporal types of data and how it offers flexibility in data retention. With Sorbon, you no longer need to store everything forever in the blockchain. Instead, you have the option to store small or unbounded data. And this is really, really crucial. Because when know something, when we talk about scalability, there's some of your answers right there. And I'll get more into this when we get to the Axelar coverage. It says, with well, the correct approach for each, through collaborative effort and simulations on Swap Finance, you're going to be able to implement optimal design patterns for unbounded data storage. You know, last time I read about unbounded data storage, it was like, you know, reading some info about Filecoin. You like the idea and can appreciate seeing Stellar joining into the mix. So it's going to mitigate potential risk, and especially when it comes to, you know, DOS attacks or 
in this some case a ddos attacks right um so there's all these things that are mentioned and more in particularly i want to jump down to this part about token safety because as you guys know anything that's new how's it going to work out i mean you know are we secure so um they had this whole discussion on the stellar discord channel talking about for example implementing a feature to preview subsequent transactions including token transactions and it's a response in regards to uh, everything that was initiated with this thing called the token list repository now, i'm not gonna get into all of that but what i did like is this last part they talked about the audit process more in particular they talked about the whole thing with otter sec and so it was this whole thing of like a you know a new learning experience and what sword bomb brings to the table but more in particular what otter sec can bring to this collaboration and so in my notes with what i gathered um I came to the conclusion that, you know, I think all this obviously is a very, very big deal. But more in particularly, I wanted to get into um, some things I recently discovered other than what you see here with OtterSec. If you're new to this whole concept of some of these updates, what's most important in regards to my notes is understanding the bigger picture. You know, like, for example adding these smart contracts or the functionality of it and so on why is it basically significant i'm gonna give you guys a breakdown three key highlights i want to talk about it's increased functionality previously focused on fast and cheap payments stellar now has the potential for a more complex financial applications with addition of smart contracts as we know sorbonne basically is the protocol 21 upgrade but it's just labeled as sorbonne Basically, in a nutshell, think of like lending, think of, you know, borrowing, uh, think of decentralized finance, DeFi. And as we get further into the outline tonight, you will see something in regards to YouTube, a YouTube video with Axelar. And even though if you go to Google right now for all the nerds that want to super nerd it out and, you know, type in, for example, Axelar and Sorbonne, you're probably going to come up with almost nothing. I'm going to show you guys a video where this gentleman from Axelar literally mentions Stellar, Sorbonne in particular. Show you some more references that happened within the last couple of weeks of how Axelar, yeah, Axelar is using Sorbonne. They're writing code on it and so on. And most importantly, why this all matters. Okay. So there's another point I want to get into, point two. Enhanced competitiveness. You better believe Stellar is compet uh, competing with some of the biggest industry players out there. I understand some of you guys feel as though they're just complementing each other. At the same time, they are competing. By offering smart contracts, Stellar can compete more directly with blockchains. Yeah, you better believe it. Like Ethereum, as we know, they still have the most popular smart contract out there with the ERC-20 smart contract. While a lot of us feel as though it's garbage, it's still the most popular and the most used. And it's, of course, dominated this space. Stellar is going to wake up a lot of people, but is it going to be too late for those people? They're going to get into, uh, you know, what's a few dollars or more. I think a lot of people recognize that, even right now at the 10 cent mark, roughly. But you better believe this is going to attract new users. How so? Well, the ability to build sophisticated financial applications, building dApps, and building out Soar Bond, building out that ecosystem is going to be profound. It's going to attract a wide range, or I should say a wider range, of users and developers to the Stellar Network. As, they, as you guys know, they boast three lines of code. That's a big, big deal. All right. Talk about two more things. I want to talk about the comprehensive financial platform potentially reaching new users. Yes, new users and new markets. So... From what I gathered, even with that update from the past, it's that two years worth of testing and that adoption. You better believe that that testing period for Sorbonne show that they already have big interest from developers. The $100 million Sorbonne adoption fund further incentivizes just that, building on Stellar. Establish partnerships, these existing ones that we have, with organizations like UNHCR and even MoneyGram definitely demonstrate Stellar's 
real world applications in a course payments smart contracts will definitely expand these capabilities and more in particular the protocol 21 upgrade with Sorbon. some of you guys ask what cold storage solution i use i use this and it is the decent wallet all right i also of course have a ledger uh, like this all right you can get a discount basically from going into the affiliate link which is in all the live video descriptions and recorded and so on and for the yahoos or that are out there they're like this is just a shield and you know we'll fix point this out and it's a great point were you aware that you don't necessarily get a discount link just going straight to the site no you actually have to go through a platform like this so how cool is that you know i don't think anybody's complaining about that but anyway use the link get a discount there's another one here if you're the type of person you want to get one for your you and your you know significant other uh you can get two of them they have a they actually have another promotion which is this and i think this is cool you can get an all-in-one card wallet plus backup card package interesting i thought that was cool and again one of the main key things i like about the decent wallet is not having to do the, the red tape of you know jumping through all the hoops for xdc and the custom folder i mean edward vincent can vouch on that some of you guys can too as well in regards to ledger that was a pain in the butt you don't have that problem you literally open up your phone it's on your app track everything that's going on right and you know singles not your keys not your crypto you know the drill check it all out though if you wish to do so it is truly the cold storage solution that i use for the most part there's still some on ledger that you know i kind of split it up on it and so on so it is what it is but if i have preference over one i'm going with this one a lot easier to use and so on and some people even to this day still ask me which one to use hey guys i just want to point out something real quick in regards to uphold with you guys a lot of you guys are familiar with uphold or heard about it but if you're brand new to all this and don't have an account basically there's some benefits it benefits me it benefits you this is a win-win but one thing I want to point out to really pound it home with Uphold is, for example, XDC. As we know, with XDC, a lot of us have to jump through the hoops of like KuCoin, use a VPN to kind of get around things. This is American Basic Exchange with Uphold. You don't have to do that. You can get your XDC here. And yeah, not having to deal with that is a great thing. You could also get XRP here. Again, American Basic Exchange. There's a refer and earn. Bottom line is, if you deposit 100 bucks, I get 20 you get 20 It's a win-win for both of us. And, of course, that's in BTC, but, again, you can swap that to any of these particular altcoins. Another benefit of Uphold is, unlike Coinbase, they're not going to freeze your assets at the height of a bull run. And that's a really, really good thing, right? Nobody wants that. So, check it out. Links are in the description. If you would like to take advantage of the 20 and yeah, a win for both of us. How cool is that? Links in the description, both on the live and on the recorded. Thanks guys. Over and out.